Megan and Nikki seem to turn up the beat. The latest on Young Thug, Snoop Dogg, and Tiana Taylor. We catch up with Bad Guy. And we've got new music from Meg, Ice, JT, and more. It's Friday, January 26th, and welcome to Billboard News. I'm Tetris here to run it all down for you, so let's start with some new music. Bodies on bodies on bodies on bodies. Say he for and now he's a topic. He's and they lower the value. All this free promo, I'm turning to profit. We love a snake queen. Megan Thee Stallion has a lot to say with his. All these little rap niggas are frauds. And they be their hardest bars. These niggas hate on BBLs and be walking around with the same scars. More bops to come throughout the show, but for now, let's hit the top story. Nicki Minaj is attacking Megan Thee Stallion in a big way after the release of her new single, Hiss. You will be running on your good foot for the rest of your sorry days. <laughs> She's taking the fight to X and with new music on IG Live, even mocking Meg getting shot and the Stallion isn't backing down. Um, I'm saying a hit dog on holler, that's it. God damn. These hoes don't be mad at Megan. These hoes mad at Megan's law. The new Meg track seemingly takes a shot at Nicki Minaj and her husband with a lyric about Megan's law. Federal law requiring law enforcement to make information available regarding registered sex offenders. Nicki Minaj had her own track in response. They gotta, they gotta feel that one. Tell the fellas, get up on your good foot. Feel the good foot. Feel the good foot. Tory Lanez was convicted of shooting Megan Thee Stallion in the foot. She went on to make fun of Megan's success and style of rapping. Cause you have three Grammys and you have to learn how to rap on the beat and being comfortable in the music. <laughs> Fans of both artists are following the fallout online, but some pointing out Nicki has liked hundreds of posts shading Meg. Meg went on The Breakfast Club and held her position. They're gonna act like it's unprovoked. Yes. You know, I'm gonna take a little nap, and I'm gonna wake back up, and I'm gonna see what they have to say. Just don't get on Instagram Live, Megan. Let the record speak for itself. <laughs> the two previously worked together on Hot Girl Summer. Who won't follow me? Like, who don't follow me? Justin Timberlake has been missing, but Mark him found because he's back with Selfish. So if I get jealous... Can't help it. And he's brought back all the things you love about JT, including the mood. And we can't let you go into the weekend without being caught up. Drake doesn't like phone calls regarding Young Thug's case being made public. A phone call from jail between Thug and his girlfriend, Mariah the Scientist, found its way onto social media and Drake posted. Is this a criminal case or Atlanta social media promo? And this gotta be some form of jail misconduct. A spokesperson for the Fulton County Sheriff's Office told Billboard the recording of the conversation was not leaked. In other words, Drake chill. Snoop Dogg is reminiscing on some time spent with Michael Jackson, and he's saying the king of pop didn't appreciate the smoke. Open the door. He didn't like it. He said, Snoop, don't do that. I'm Team MJ. Snoop is a legend and should do him, but I'm not trying to get that contact high. And we have some casting updates and music. Coleman Domingo has been cast as Joe Jackson in the MJ biopic. And in news of the Dion Warwick biopic, the movie is funded. Tiana Taylor is the star and she's gushing about playing her idol, saying in a post. Miss Dion Warwick, a woman of great stature, poise, and elegance, with a fiery spirit, realizing I was looking at my future self, it's go time. Love this for her. And Coleman playing Mr. in Color Purple and Joe Jackson is wild. Can't wait for this film. Ice Spice is no stranger to bops and think you the fart is definitely one. You're not even the fart. Nah, I be going hard. Nah, I'm breaking their hearts. It's the perfect follow up to having us shake it in a deli. Kid Leroy gets emotional in his new hit, Heaven. Heaven is a place I don't want to go. Cause when I see your face, I don't want to die no more. Gotta say we're loving this side of him. Life ain't gotta be so sad. Dug me out the grave and you brought me back. In today's sit-down interview, Layla Cobo chatted with Latin music star, Bad Gal. Take a look. I feel like there's no difference at the end. Si yo voy a una cena informal con mis amigas, pues termino vistiéndome un poco así también, mm -hmm. quizás no tan... Mm, pero es como que mi estilo sí que siento que es algo que va más allá, mi profesión y el personaje, digamos. 
pero sí que en cuanto a mi vida y mi personalidad, muchas veces la gente se hace la idea equivocada de cómo debo de ser yo personalmente por mi música, mi estilo, mi forma de bailar, de expresarme. En realidad me considero más bien una persona tranquila dentro de lo que hay. Obviamente me encanta la rumba, me encanta la fiesta, me encanta la música, me encanta mover el culo. Eso no es de mentira, pero sí que tengo toda otra parte que me gusta la tranquilidad, me gusta estar con mi familia, me gusta la rutina porque siento que me hace bien, me da salud mental y me ayuda a poder llevar todo el otro lifestyle de la vida más ajetreada y en el spotlight y todo eso. Bueno, hablemos de Joya. Joya es el nombre del nuevo disco, de tu primer disco, que la verdad me tomó por sorpresa cuando caí en cuenta que era el primer disco de Bad Vial. Siento que llevas mucho tiempo. ¿En qué momento dijiste estoy lista? Ahora sí para sacar un álbum. Sobre todo sentí que era el momento cuando ya había tenido más experiencia en lo que es el songwriting, en el estudio, en elegir tanto los productores como de todo el material que se ha hecho, qué vale más la pena, qué menos, dónde quiero dirigir, los sonidos, qué tipo de beat quiero usar hoy, por qué me gusta esto, por qué me gusta lo otro. Siento que con los años vas ganando experiencia y te conoces un poco mejor. Y yo siempre he querido también poder hacer ese junte un poco de, de donde yo soy y la música que siempre me ha gustado y me ha inspirado, que es el dancehall, el reggaetón, bueno, la música caribeña siempre me ha encantado. También, obviamente, la música de Estados Unidos, el hip hop, el arambi, me ha influenciado. For the full interview, hit billboard.com. Ah, uh, that is Friday. So excited for Grammy Week next week with you all, so come back then for all our coverage. For now, one more entry from our Friday music guide. Youngblood kicks off a new year and a new era with When We Die. And a little Yachty feature makes for the perfect collab. You come back to me, I want, oh dear. 